what is up ladies and gentlemen this is your boy btn14 gaming i'm coming at you with a game called i am your president so we're gonna take a look this is the prologue of the game it's not yet released i think it'll be released sometime early next year but uh let's see if i can make a better present than what we have right now uh here we go let's hop into it boys Right, you're a lawyer. It's official. You celebrate the graduation with your mother who's been paying your tuition fees for years. This is a nice restaurant and you can already smell your dinner. A light scent of mushroom soup fills the air. Congratulations, my boy, says your mom, deeply touched. You hold a diploma in your hand. There are several things written on this piece of paper. Some posh nonsense, Harvard sentences, and your whole future. You don't want it. Yet you feel sick, say, sick saying so. Mom, I have something to tell you. Thank you, I guess. I'm always up front with my mama, so let's tell her. Mom starts to nervously fold a tissue. Her fingers are quivering. It makes you angry and sad at the same time. What's wrong, son? She finally asked. I am not going to become a lawyer. Sorry, mama. She stays silent for a moment, obviously shocked. Why? I want to change the world, make an impact, decide. You're goddamn right we want to decide. So a year later, you make your first decision to become a party member. All right. It's your birthday and your mother hasn't called you yet. Wine is nasty. Politicians around you keep bobbling. Your wife is standing by your side. Honey, can we go home? She says. You do not sense a question mark. Uh, I'm networking. I can't. Not this again. This is my job. Remember. Oh, they're both kind of dickish answers. Let's go. I'm networking. She looks at you with resentment in her eyes. I am tired of you, she says. So am I, you reply instinctively. This is the last time you agree with each other. Damn. You are now divorced. Time drags by as if it was dripping from a broken tap. You became a prominent politician, and yet here you are, staring in the mirror, wondering what went wrong, chewing on your own words. You were about to change the world. Golly. Apparently, you have to change yourself first. You cut your hair, buy yourself a new car. Oof. Gotta buy yourself a new car. And just after that, you make a decision. I'll run for presidency. BTN 2024. I'm a president. That was easy enough. It's official. Your mother calls you soon after the inauguration. You haven't heard from her in years. I am sorry, she says with a tremble in her voice. Congratulations, my boy. Don't be mother. You press the phone to your ear so hard that it gets sweaty, but your mother hangs up, apparently unable to utter a word. That is the last... Wow... Sorry, Mama. You are making a lot of difficult choices, impacting the world. The highlight of your presidency is... Duh, that's a tough one. I know a few single parents. Uh, let's save hundreds of lives, I guess. They're not satisfied? They want you to remember as the most persistent or the most right persistent. I am persistent, damn it. There is much more to be done. Four years pass by so quickly, you are tired but crave for more. You simply know that this cannot be the end. So, let's run for a re-election. This is still your story and you have to keep going. New year, new start. Let's get on with it, baby. Ooh. Dear Mr. President, first of all, I want to wish you a happy new year. Second, I am leaving this card here to remind you about the urgent matters in regard to this year's election. You have to be careful when it comes to making choices, and yet the most crucial aspect is our rating system. We must make sure that we win the second term. I will keep my finger on the pulse and send people to remind you about all this stuff when the right time comes. It's almost midnight as I'm writing this, so you probably see this message on January the 1st. Well, see you at work in the new year. Hopefully better year. Vice President. All right. Let's see. Statistics reflect the overall condition of the U.S. Okay. Okay. How good a job I'm doing. Dialogues. Happy New Year, Mr. President. How are you doing? Uh, Happy New Year to you, my friend. Vladimir Putin. Uh, thank you, sir. I honestly hope it will be good. Anyway, to cut to the chase, this year is essential, so I thought we should prepare a plan. Um, Are you talking about the presidential campaign? Exactly. It's been going on for some time, but now we really need to focus on the most important parts. Uh, and New Year and so much work already. I am pretty sure of who I am and what I am capable of. I'll decide for myself. Alright, what do our experts... Let's see what our experts say about this. 
You know how it is, sir. It depends on which expert you ask, but the answer you are looking for is hidden within our ratings. I'm keeping track of them, so I know. All right. Okay, so what are the hot button issues? It's the question of climate change, both in the context of the U.S. and the entire world. Secondly, more and more Americans seem to become personally interested in traditionally administrative issues. I'm talking about everything from immigration control to inflation and taxation. Not that surprising considering what we went through in 2008. Mm -hmm. Lastly, there's the eternal questions of our role as a military superpower. People are getting anxious about the status quo of, as world peace seems what somewhat less attainable. Oh wow, that's a lot to... I see. I made up my mind. Um... Let's start with climate change. You can't go wrong with climate change. Um, how do we go about pulling this off? You can relax. I wouldn't even start this conversation if you didn't have something truly successful. So what is it? I'm talking about Grim 4.0. The absolute wonder of technology is going to make it possible for us to achieve even the grandest of projects. Uh, well, you know, we'll just take your word for it. I'm the president, damn it. Get out of here, you cardboard cutout. Alright, investment and project. Let's see what's in the news. Oh, Oklahoma consumed by fire. For most Americans, well, every year. There was 203 fire accidents. What the hell are they doing in Oklahoma City? Fireworks are dangerous, and if not used properly, yep, yeah, that's the prizes. There were no casualties, so that's good. Um, we'll see my projects. Except... Let's simulate that. All right. AP cost forty. Chance for ten per turn. All right. Let's commerce. Just a short remark. We must just. We have just learned that your new secretary is pregnant with quadruplets. Jesus. We're in the process of looking for a suitable replacement. I apologize for the inconvenience. This level of personal rotation is quite unprecedented, and I hope it hasn't caused too much trouble. Good lord. Triplets. Or quadruplets. Eh, end of the day. Let's. 295 days till election. Alright, news. Oldest turtle on the planet starts swearing. 202 years old. Never come anything around. But last Friday, two. Well, he didn't care it before. Around the world, to drops carrot. Quite soon, said the word shit. Josh died after that. What would he have said next? Knock, knock, buddy. Who are you? What do you want, Tom Cruise? Good morning, sir. There's something I'd like to discuss with you. I'm all ears. China is once again trying to pressure and intimidate Taiwan. They're constructing a number of nuclear soil... Oh, no. Nope, we're not going to let them go. Let me see how. We're going to shoot Taiwan with five of our intercontinental missiles? Huh? Be so sure I want to sell. Oh, Jesus. Uh, um, for starters, we get to maintain a close ally right under China's nose. I guess if we wanted to display strength, we get them to return the favor and nuke us back. Sort of like to let's not get ahead of ourselves. All right, looks like we're gonna have to try to bomb China. Click the jump event. Um. You know what, let's launch for him to. All right, let's launch some missiles. So all decisions have consequences. Yeah.
Yo, man, I see you're selling the car you bought after you and your wife split for good. I can say I know that feel all too well, bro. But to be honest, that car looks hella shitty and rusted. I can pay no more than 2G for it. Five G is the absolute. Sorry to disappoint you. Five G's is good. Sorry your wife dipped. So happy to finally buy that car. Good. I'm glad I sold my car for five thousand. Uh, DIY nuke. Yellow two. <laughs> Yellow two. All right. Let's see what this guy has. What's up, stud muffin? Uh, it's gonna be a wonderful year. I'm thinking about it. We should become persistent. Honestly, I've never been an open person. Let's go stronger and more persistent. Thank you. Have a nice day. I'm a very nice president, ain't I? Bye. What's new? Shooting star. No, it's an aircraft called a nuclear missile aimed at Taiwan. Hold up a minute, you might say. Are we the bad guys now? Well, according to some, we've been the bad guys for quite a while. We are not. Uh, show off how closely defended Taiwan is. So, to reiterate, it's all good in the hood. All right. Well, map pro reptilian photos. Uh, I don't know. Let's see here. Use the acquired data to start transforming the U.S. industry in accordance and more logically sustainable model. Or present your finest international country. I can take like interest to recall. 100% chance for 40. 20% chance for minus 80. Oof. Let's go. The great industrial shift. Let's see what we got. All right, let's end the day. Man, I am ready to be the best president. I will nuke everybody. All right. Snowstorm, huh? Alright, let's see what I can do for that. Come on in, buddy. Look at that snow out there, bro. Thought I would make what's going on. <coughs> winter of the century. Oh, well, they said winter was coming, I did not believe them. Is this actually that bad? Roads are passable, people are stuck in their homes. There's even a kid buried under a snow. People What should we do about this? So, just so we don't have enough resources to make appropriation, and we do not want Americans to turn out of polar bears. Oh, uh, no, as well as those are yet to come. Until that, we're going to clean up after the streets. I like polar bears. Well, I'll put some money into development. Just a reminder we are not able to fund all the development strategies, so you'll make some choices. I can handle that. Get out of here. Uh, what is your speech going to be? My screech. Polar. Just really love polar bears, you know. Jesus. Dear citizen, I'm freezing as well. Don't die, please. You're president. I really love polar bears. We're going to screech that. <laughs> Hashtag I am your president. He, I just really love polar bears, you know. No polar bears in the refrigerator. I'm doing fine. Who needs fingers anyway? New email. Shame on you. I have to ask you, is your car as cold as this weather outside? Because here in Aberdeen, Washington, there was not a single warning about the blizzard. You and your government did literally nothing to save us. This morning I woke up to find my wife and my five-year-old daughter frozen in our backyard. 
Why the hell were they out there? What the hell are you gonna wake up and your daughter and five year olds outside? Like, keep them inside the house, stupid. Yeah, ironic, huh? Suck my balls. Oh, they're not dead. Whatever, go fuck yourself, pal. What's going on in the news? A white void, don't panic you're alone. Has under siege, snow has taken America's hostage. You're welcome. I'm changing the climate. Alright, oh, who is this? What's up, lady? Boy, how are we feeling today? Who's <laughs> the yeah? Who the hell are you? Oh, sir, don't be so defensive. Everybody calls me Miss Allison. What the fuck you want, Miss Allison? Told you I needed help. The director of community calls me Miss Worry about you, but I'm not stressed lately. You're clearly a fraud. We all felt some slumps from this, from the rudest problems. I think it's my mother. Yeah, my wife is no longer mine. The president's country and how to run things. Can I move now? Oh. I can move. What's going on over here? I can, that's as far as I can move? That sucks, Headmaster. Fake news. It's fake news, America. Global warming is fake news. You heard it here first. All right, we're in a weather crisis center. What's going on in the world map? Can I bomb somebody randomly? You got out of bomb Brazil. Be fair, 280 days. New map events. New developments in Afghanistan require your attention, sir. A new radically anti-American group is emerging in the Middle East. Their guerrillas are targeting local oil reserves. We're going to send large reinforcements to take the war to them. What fucking anti-American is... Oh, goodbye, Afghanistan. Frig off, Mr. Afghanistan. Let's see. Oh, what's this guy want? What do you want, Justin Timberlake? The Super Bowl. You know, I always want to try acting. I'm going to screech about it. Let's go nerdy. We're gonna throw one. I like chicken wings. Look at that. 10 million followers. Let's go. Uh, business bailouts. Foreign influence budget. Let's do a business bailout fund. We're 
Well, I think we're going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And as always, we will catch you in the next one. Until then, peace out. Thank <laughs> you.